You don't talk to anybody. You just take the matter into your own hands to do what you think is right for you, to go the direction that seems best to you. You are creating a storm that you're going to have to deal with that storm, the consequences of that storm, the pain of that storm, the frustration of that storm, the loss that will come as a result of that storm. And that is why it's so important that you never take matters into your own hands. You go back to God in prayer and say, Lord, I can't figure this one out. God, I don't know what to do. I am confused. I'm frustrated. I'm angry. I might even be bitter. I don't know which way to go. When I think go right, I'm wrong. All think go left. But God, I bring this situation to you right now. I bring this storm to you right now. Father. Father, give me wisdom. How do I deal with this situation? What do I do? What do I say? What do I not say? How do I pray? What scripture should I use with this particular issue? As you begin to cry out to God and you use the word of God, God will give you everything you need to go through the storm, to go through the storm. Stop running away from the storms that you are dealing with because that storm is building capacity in you. That storm is building perseverance in you. That storm is building endurance in you. That storm is building greatness inside of you. That one day, when you've gone through all that you've been through, you've been through the storms of and you begin to meet people that are going through the same storm that you've been through, you can grab them by the hand and say, listen, my brother, listen, my sister, I know what you're going through because I've been there, but had it not been for the mercy of God, I would have been consumed. You can lift somebody else up. You can pick somebody else up that is going through that same storm. Someone else that is depressed, uh, that have sickness, anxiety, disease, or whatever the storm they're facing, whether it's financial, emotional, mental, spiritual, psychological, whatever type of storm. But if you give up now and you don't trust God now, there are so many people going through a storm that your breakthrough is connected to their breakthrough. If you give up right this minute, I am telling you, there are thousands, maybe even hundreds of thousands. And for some of you, there are millions of people that are dependent on you to get through your storm so they can get through their storm. There are millions of people that are waiting for you to get through your storm so they can get to their next level. There are millions of people that are waiting. They're at the edge. They're at the edge at the end of their rope bomb. And you might be at the end of your rope, but I come to speak to you right now. Uh, do not give up because the world is waiting on you. God is depending on you to keep pushing through. People are waiting for you. When you get through your storm, you can stand and lift your head up and say, I felt like giving up, uh, but God came through for me. I almost gave that. I almost died, but God came through for me. I look up to the hills from what's cometh my help. My help comes from the Lord, not the government not your mother, not your father, your husband, your wife, your brother, your sister, not anything else, not from the finances you have, not from any anyone else, but your help comes from the Lord. If you can just lift your head up today and say, God, I can go another day. Don't try to go another six months. Don't try to go another year. There comes a point in time in your life when you got to say, Lord, I can make it another day. I just, if I can make it another day, if I could make it today, I can make it tomorrow. And you take it one day at a time. Mom, and you get up and you pray. You spend time in the presence of the Lord. You spend time waiting. If I can make it today, I can make it tomorrow. And you make it today. And you say, God, give me the strength. I'm going to trust in you today. I'm going to trust in you in the morning. When I get up, I will trust in you. When I go to sleep, I will trust in you. I will trust in you with my finances. I will trust you with my family. I will trust you with my business. I will trust you with my health. I will trust you with everything. Oh God, I am going to trust you. Trust God. Trust God. Man is always going to deceive you. Man is always going to let you down. But trust the Lord. You know, I read a scripture in the, in the book of Psalms, I believe. 
And it said that God doesn't trust even the heavenly host. The Trinity doesn't fully trust the heavenly host. Now, this is a topic that I'm going to go in more details later on. But people think that when the angels that sinned that got kicked out of heaven, some people thought that once that happened, God put a switch uh, inside of the other angels, that uh, all the heavenly beings that stayed that didn't, you know, betray him, right? Some people think that he put something in them that, you know, he can just turn off and on, that, you know, those that sinned and disobeyed him, he, the, the ones that stayed, he can do something and then they won't be able to disobey him again. No, they have their free will to still do anything at any point. But I say this, even though there was that storm, the way that God dealt with Lucifer and the other angels, when the angels that stayed in heaven saw what happened, that shook them to this day. The point that I'm making is this. Trust God. Whoever let you down, trust God. Whoever broke your heart, trust God. Whoever abandoned you, trust God. You know, as a pastor, I always push people back to the Lord. I always, I don't push them to me. I put them back to the Lord. Go back in the word. Go back in the word. What does the word says? If they have questions, if they need prayer, if they need clarity, they come to me. I